The poncho is literally at the heart of our building and is also in many ways the heart of our organization. It's the space where every single play that graces the Bagley Wright Theatre stage rehearses. It's where plays can start as table reads, as workshops, and then advance into full rehearsal processes to then become full production. It is the nerve center behind all of the creative energy that happens here at Seattle Rep. This building opened in 83, so I've been, I've been working in that space for a long time. Having a really wonderful rehearsal space is one of the reasons that you create good work. But having it as an alternative performance space, I think, is also crucial. There is nothing like being in a play that's actually in a room with the audience. There's no division between you and the people sitting in the room. It's like doing a play in your living room. Maybe my favorite memory of the poncho was doing the first production of Inspecting Carol there. It was really electric. Having people that close to you for that ridiculous farce, listening to people laugh that hard in a small space was an experience I'll never forget. The rep has been supporting me since, uh, I'm going to date myself, probably since 1991. And I just found out that I am the most produced living playwright in Seattle Rep's history. When I think of the poncho, I think, first of all, when I walk in there, I'm so excited because I know that something new is going to happen. We are going to create. But when we're in that poncho, we're working it out. We're sweating. We've got our sleeves rolled up. You know, we're whining because I love to whine about how hard the process is. Us the artists, we really need a place to come and play. We need a place where we can come and experiment. We need a place where we can come and feel safe to try something new. The August Wilson Monologue Competition is so powerful. The level of majesty and reverence that these students have for this place was reinforced to me more than ever this year. At intermission of finals, one student exclaimed, I performed at Seattle Rep. And when I went home that night, I really reflected on him and the fact that this place has a lot of um, status for these kids. It's that shining beacon on a hill. These amazing young people are gonna be future patrons, they're gonna be future performers, they're gonna be future donors to the rep. We need to do our best to make sure that we live up to the reputation that we have with them. And we do that by uplifting their voices and we can better uplift those voices if we have a space that allows us to do that. That room basically became City Hall for Public Works. I mean, it was sort of where all the roads led. I think it's probably where most all of us first met, whether it was an audition or a potluck or an event. And then we made it our creative space. We used every inch of space in this building. So often there were actually like two or three rehearsals happening in the poncho at the same time. That room reverberates with people like taking risks and getting to know one another and daring to be themselves in front of a big group of people. And it was so interesting uh, to have all of that contained in one room. Not only all that creative energy and all of those various scenes, but also all those ages, all that work and energy and hope, all in one space. I am convinced that this idea of being in a big room with a bunch of strangers, watching a story unfold in front of us, in person, live, ultimately is, is something that we need as human beings. That's why I think we should raise our paddles. Give me a paddle, I'll raise it.